Hey guys, this is Brant with Western Equipment, and today we're going to be doing a product overview of the Steel MSA 120C. Now, some of you guys may have never heard of this saw. This is Steel's entry level lithium ion battery powered chainsaw. Uh, so, right here, this is a setup that we've pulled right out of the box. So, we're going to go over each of these things here. First of all, the unit. Uh, you will, of course, receive the full unit in the box along with the battery. Uh, the battery here is a steel lithium ion battery. Uh, it is the AK20 series. In this uh, line of battery equipment, there is the AK20, which is the more heavy duty for the blower and chainsaw. Then there's also the AK10 for the other units in the series. So you want to make sure you do have the 20 with your equipment. Uh, neatest feature about this battery is the check here on the front lets you know that this battery is fully charged and as you use of course your bars will go down you know just like your cell phone or anything else it does have that meter uh, next here you will have the charger battery slides into the charger uh, with it facing up here slides right in and connects and as it's charging uh, not only will these be flashing and also your light here will be flashing until it's full then they will both be solid uh, like this here and this will also show solid slides right out this battery charger is also self-containing you can leave the battery on the charger all the time while it's not being used it will power down when it's not in use uh, so it can be a storage place also next we'll go here to the bar that will come with your setup it is a steel 12 inch bar uh, it will come with this adjusting tool that you'll have to install uh, takes one screw on the back here to install it to the bar this one we've already done just for time purpose here next piece will be the scabbard this after you install your bar and chain onto the saw of course this will be your cover uh, to keep the kiddos or people that aren't supposed to be around the saw keep them from pricking their finger on the chain here Next will be the steel chain that comes with it. It is a 12 inch chain to match your bar. Um, it is the green safety chain. What this means is it, it has a feature that reduces kickback for when you cut into that wood instead of it popping back at you. That chain will cut smoothly to slow it down to keep you safe. Uh, it'll also come with a set of uh, safety glasses here. We highly recommend when you're using the chainsaw or any of these power products to utilize these as they are in every single piece of equipment you buy. The only other thing you will need uh, that does not come with the saw would be some bar and chain oil. As you see here, we have some of Steel's Platinum Grade bar and chain oil. Uh, the saw won't come with it, but it does need it, as you do have an oil port here. Uh, this is for the lubrication of the bar and chain to keep it from getting too hot while you're in use. So you will need that if you don't have some already. Uh, next, we're going to do a little, more, little further look into the saw itself. Uh, right here you can see it is a plastic unit, uh, but everything's pretty solid. As I sit here and try to torque and twist on it, kind of hit it here on the tailgate, it is solid. Um, next you'll have here is your chain brake. As you can see here you do have an unlock position, which is back. So I'll pull it back. This would unlock and let you run the, run the chainsaw. Uh, it has a forward position to lock that chain out. This is also a safety feature. So as you're running that saw, if it were to catch and throw back at you, your hand would hit this and that locks the chain out to keep you safe from that saw coming back or forward or catching, catching you where it's not supposed to. I kind of pointed out before that it does have the oil chamber here, but that's very important uh, to keep everything lubricated there. We'll come back here to the handle. Uh, there is a few different safety features on this saw. The most important is probably the lockout here. That button, without it being depressed, you cannot pull the trigger to run the saw. So to run it, you would depress that button with your thumb, and then you can fully pull the trigger and run the saw. Next here would be the battery chamber. Of course, this is where your battery is going to slide in here. You will line up your grooves on your battery that will match the chamber. Slide it in, has a two position lock. So what I mean by that is one press here, you heard the click and it locked in. The, the battery will not fall out, but you can also not run the chainsaw there. If you pull it, push it all the way in and it's flush on the top. Now, if you were to pull the trigger here, it will run the, the, the bar and chain. To pop the battery out, you have a button here that releases the battery and now it can go back into storage. 
Also important, located in this battery chamber is going to be your information sheet here. It tells you what size of bar you need, tells you the model, and also your serial number. That'll be important for warranty purpose if the dealership you buy from doesn't register for you. You'll want to have that serial number. Next will be the back side here. This is going to be your bar cover and also your tension adjustment. As you notice, everything is able to be done by hand. There's no tools that are required for this to taking off and putting on your bar and chain here. We'll loosen this up. And we can open up the bar cover here. Inside here, of course, is where your bar and chain would sit. You've got your sprocket here and your screw uh, for your housing to fit on. These gears are what are going to adjust your tension. So now while we're here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this saw and have it to where it's ready to run if you guys want to stay with me here. We're going to grab the bar and chain here and open this up. Be careful because these chains, even though they're little, they are sharp. Um, you might want to have a pair of gloves on when you do this. Uh, but the little, the ends here, as you can see, uh, razor sharp, obviously, right here on these points. So to install this onto the bar, the adjusting tool is going to face out, okay, along with your, your lettering here. And we're going to put this on to where your teeth are rotating in the right direction to be able to cut. So as we get it positioned here, you'll see here that your curved end of the teeth are running through the saw and running towards the end, okay. Next, to install it, what we'll do is we'll take the, the opened end of the chain here and we'll loop it around, around the sprocket and then line our hole up over our, our screw here. And we're going to rotate this to adjust the slack out and rotate it until you feel it get tight. You can see that it tightened up here onto the sprocket. If it's loose, you'll see you have this slack, but we'll tighten it up here. And then next, we'll take our cover and we'll pop it on. And from here, like I said, normally on a chainsaw you'd need a tool to put your nuts back on, but here you do have a handle um, that you can adjust and tighten down your cover from right here. Once you feel it gets a little bit tight, um, you can turn it over back on its side and this is when you'll adjust the tension of your chain. So on these saws, you'll want to make sure that there is a little bit of give here in the chain, a little bit of slack, but not enough to where the chain will come outside of the bar. See there, it'll come out, so we need to adjust the tension a little bit. Here on your black dial, you can see the plus arrow going this way, so we're going to adjust this a little bit forward here to take some of that tension out. Now you can see we've got a little less, a little less slack there. We might adjust it just a tick more. And from there, you got enough tension you're adjusted. We're gonna tighten this down. And from here, you ought to be ready to cut other than adding oil to your oil reservoir. We're going to open this up. Take our oil here. Fill that there. Put our cap back on. And like I said, that's important to keep your chain and bar cool during operation. From here, we're going to go ahead and add our battery in. Remember that two position lock. One, it'll stay in, but it will not run. Put it down in the next way. Check our battery. Make sure it's full, and it is. We'll depress our safety switch here. Actually, we'll make sure our chain brake is off, which it is. It's back. Then we'll depress our switch here, pull our trigger. And as you can see, we're ready to cut. And during storage, you want to go ahead and lock this chain break back that way you know the kids and stuff won't uh, won't be able to run that saw and then also when you get ready to store go ahead and put your scabbard on here and there you are that is the msa 120c steel chainsaw um, we've had a lot of customers buy these guys they're very lightweight um, 8.4 pounds with the battery bar and chain on. Uh, very easy to use for most operators. Another question we have a lot of the time is battery life. These batteries are rated for 104 inch cuts. 
uh, whether that be dry lumber, logs. Of course, it will vary some due to condition. Wetter material take longer to cut. Sometimes harder material takes longer to cut, but they are rated for 100 cuts, give or take. And we carry these at our Western Equipment locations. Uh, come in and see us, ask some questions. And I hope this video has shown you some things you need to know and make you a little more confident uh, in the battery powered product here. If you'll stick around, we'll do a uh, raw demonstration and look for that on our YouTube page. Go on also and follow us on our YouTube page and our Facebook page. And we'll see you next time.